To begin setting foot into probability, I first want to talk about probability density functions and cumulative distribution functions. A probability density function is a continuous function that gives the relative likelihood that a sample will be taken at a particular value. Now, while these functions have values at an infinite number of points, if you look distinctly at one point, it doesn't give you much information, right? Because there are infinite, there's an infinite points in these curves, they're continuous. So one point doesn't really give you that much information. What's more important to you is the area between two points or the area under the curve between two points. They, that in there will give you a probability. There's a probability between that this value lies between 3,800 and 4,000. The probability density function is an infinite well, and <clears throat> is an infinite function, but it is related to the histograms that you draw, which is based on discrete data. So the histogram for data points will give you the relative shape of the probability density function. So here you see the histogram that gives you the general shape of this probability density function. These are for concrete strengths, and they're both normally distributed. Now, the data is finite the probability density function is continuous. A cumulative distribution function is a continuous function that gives the probability that a sample will be a value or less. So if I look here at the cumulative distribution function at 4,200, what this is saying is that there is a 40% chance that it is 4,200 or less. So it is cumulative. Um, there is a numerical equivalent to the cumulative distribution function, and that is the empirical distribution function, which you can calculate by ranking data, calculating the probability that it is this value or less. Um, you'll see that this jagged kind of step is related to this nice smooth curve. So you can relate the infinite prob cumulative distribution function to this empirical distribution function and see whether they are related or not. But there, for both the PDF and the CDF, there are numer numerical equivalents in the histogram or the empirical distribution function. Finally, the cumulative distribution function represents the area underneath the probability density function moving from left to right. And as you well know, that the area under a curve is the integral. So if you have the CDF, you can integrate the CDF to get the PDF. 